Hello everyone, Fernando Cortez here from Red Door Distributions. Today we are back here in our lab and I just want to cover two basic things with you that will really help you before every print. Uh, two most important things that you can do is make sure that you filter your resin. Uh, I will go over how we filter our resin here in our shop uh, as well as uh, show you the file that we made uh, for our filter holder and if you would like that file I can definitely email that over to you so you can print it on your B9 and use it every day. The other thing I want to go over is what happens to the resin when it sits in the vat for a prolonged period of time. Now I just did a large print last night and now when I came back I'm going to follow the best practices, filter the resin, mix it thoroughly and uh, now I can put the machine back to print. So as you can see as I move the spatula and basically uh, just uh, mix it very slowly that is what the settling is. So you're going to get some, some separation from the pigmentation. That's why it's very important that you make sure that when you uh, finish printing that you go over uh, the vat floor uh, very thoroughly. I like to use a spatula um, and lift all the resin and all the uh, pigment uh, from the vat floor. Here is just another example of me cleaning the vat after a print. If the resin is left in the vat even for one hour, I would still suggest mixing it thoroughly this way. Now we're ready to filter our resin. What we like to use is this coffee filter. It's metal, it's a metal mesh. Uh, you can usually buy them in a three pack for a couple of dollars at a grocery store. Uh, I like them because you can steam clean them uh, and reuse them. We've designed this filter holder, which you basically just remove the cap from your bottle of resin, uh, put that on top, and then put your filter on top of that. It holds it in really nicely, and this is a great way for us to filter our resin uh, back into the bottle uh, and get it ready for mixing. If you guys are interested in our filter holders, shoot me an email and we can send you guys over the file that way you guys can print out your own. This just makes it very simple, very easy to filter your resin without making a mess. A lot of the strainers that are out there are a little bit on the larger side, so we just like using these. It just makes our lives a little bit easier. Now that our resin is filtered back into our bottle, we're using a magnetic stirrer to stir this up for us. Now, basically the way this works, there is a uh, magnetic uh, pin that, or pill that we drop into the bottle of the resin. This has a magnet which basically turns in circles and that's how it basically mixes the resin. This is a great solution to use. However, I will say that if you do have a full bottle of resin, sometimes this pill unfortunately is not enough to thoroughly mix it and get that nice vortex mixing going on. So I would suggest if you don't have one of these, just shake it up for a good three to five minutes and you should have uh, no issues at all whatsoever. Or if you do have one of these, make sure that you're uh, in the RPM range anywhere between 700 to about 850 RPMs. That should really create that nice vortex. Now you can always just open the cap, look inside and make sure that you do have that nice vortex. Keep in mind this works great with about a half a bottle of resin. If you do have a full bottle of resin and you wish to use one of these, I would suggest just pouring about half of this into another container and then you'll be able to use this no problem. All right, everyone, that's it. So before your next print, make sure that you filter your resin, make sure that you mix it properly, and then you can print. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. And if there's a topic that you would like me to cover, leave a comment below and subscribe, and I'll try to do my best to cover it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.